think if Fred had had someone like me or some other, you know, what I would call elder or mentor figure in his life, when I was about Fred's age, my father called me into the garage. This is where, in America, all of these conversations between their father and their son seem to take place in the garage. And he was a contractor and, and uh, helped fix things. And there was a lovely gay couple who had settled in Carmel Valley, where I grew up. And they had been famous puppeteers, and, but their traveling days had ended. And they bought an old barn and they converted it into this beautiful theater that was the pride and joy of the entire valley. Well, one winter, it got very cold and the pipes broke, and my dad went up there and helped them fix the pipes, which is what he did. And they said, well, we need an assistant. We need a help because we're getting too old. So that night he came back and took me into the garage and said, well, son, there isn't much more that I can teach you or help you. But he said, uh, I told them that um, you are going to be their new assistant. So he gave me the keys to the family car and every Saturday night, I would drive up the valley about 15, 10, 15 miles, to this magnificent theater and help them with printing the bills and ushering the crowds and threading the, the film through the projectors and just helping them. Ralph and Francois, Ralph Gades and Francois Martin, they had been together for 50 years. And after the show was finished, they would literally sit me at their feet and they would tell me stories about their life as you know, partners in art and partners in life and partners in love. It was the best education about anything I ever received. I, I hope in the next wave of, of gay liberation that we will see more of this kind of partnership and education to help young men like Fred grow up and be everything that they possibly can be.